Hello everybody, I hope you're well. So today I'm going to make um, something that people have been asking me for, the aloe vera gel. You know, um, there are a couple of things that go into it. There's one, uh, one item that goes into it, which I'm not crazy about, um, that creates the gel form, you know, of a product. And that is, um, um, that's a product that actually is present in a lot of cosmetics, but it's also dangerous for us if you do it, I mean, use it in abundance. But um, I mean, it's the gel um, um, toothpaste that we have also has it. Anything that is gel based has it. So we need to uh, use, um, you know, whether we want to use it or not. So I'm going to show you two different preparations, one with it and one without it. And that is triathlon amine. I mean, and it's a little difficult to say. Uh, in the short form is T E A, and um, yeah, uh, one uh, one product that I could probably very easily live without. But I'm anyway going to show it to you. But remember that I mean, today I, in the morning I squeezed out my paste, and it is a gel paste, and I was like, oh no, I don't want to use this. So there is uh, this this product is actually present in a lot of lot of products in your uh, face uh, care hair care all the gels everything is made out of it so uh, use your uh, be cautious and use your um, mind and think if you want to use it or not but anyway I'm going to be showing you what to do with it so if you add TEA that's triathlon amine this is the texture that you get the exact kind of texture that you pick up in the market I know it's quite amazing. I know this is what we are all used to. Uh, so your, use your discretion and uh, make this product. All right. And it's really hydrating and um, cooling. I think this is what um, the aloe vera plant does. It just hydrates you and cools you down. It's quite amazing. I've got two nice juicy leaves from my aloe plant. And remember, after you cut it, you need to make it slant in a in a in a dish so you collect all this yellow stuff so this it, it irritates the skin so this really needs to go once it's fully drained out then you wash it clean it and get going this has been cut off take the end off you don't want that all right take the end edge off because it's quite pokey and can hurt you. Once you come to the end, you can take the tail end off as well. So cut that to make it easier. We are trying to get rid of all the green. So I found it easy to do this. Just use a knife. I mean a fork and a knife, take off of all the gel, just cut it into small cubes, just put that into your mixing bowl, whatever you're going to be using your hand mixer on. is really slimy and gooey but it's so full of goodness you don't want to waste even a bit of it so I've got the gel of both the the leaves I'm going to use my hand mixy and beat it up <laughs> You have to beat this for a couple of minutes. So this is beaten and you can see all bubbles in this. You can of course let it rest for about five, six hours and the bubbles might come down, but you'll still get a few bubbles. But anyway, let's strain this to get all the um, 
the pulp if there is any remaining and strain this a couple of times and the rest of the bubbles we will heat it on low, medium and high for not more than 8 minutes till we get just the clear liquid. So I'm draining it yet again, straining it. So I've strained it twice and the third time into the bowl that I am going to be heating this up. So remember that it has to go very gradual, your heating process. It goes from low to medium to high for not more than seven to eight minutes. So that's fine. So it's boiling now. And that's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour it into this, taking off all the little bubbles, if there are any. And once it comes to room temperature, once this comes to room temperature, we're going to put it in the fridge. Um, boiled one cup of water, put it off. And I just want to infuse the water with green tea. So I've got two bags and we're going to let this rest in the water. And once this cools down, we're going to put this in the fridge as well. One cup of water. And this is your thickening powder. It's carbopole. It is um, an ingredient that is made out of seaweed, much like agar agar. And um, well, we don't boil, we boil agar agar, but we don't boil this. We just let it, we use half a teaspoon of um, this powder, the carbopole powder, and in one cup of water, and mix it a wee bit and leave it aside for about 12 hours. So you've got your, your aloe juice, your green tea water and your carbopole water which is being infused. Everything is resting for 12 hours and then we make the aloe vera gel. So that's one cup of water and half a teaspoon of carbopole powder. So you just very gently drop it in. And this needs to hydrate, you know, so that goes in. Don't worry if it gets clumpy and everything else, because once this hydrates in the water, look, it's very, very difficult to mix, but don't worry about that. So this, we're just going to leave it and from time to time, give it a good mix for 12 hours. So we've got three things that have been resting overnight. In the fridge was is the um, aloe vera juice and the infused green tea water. So those two went into the, the fridge. The carbopole, which was mixed with water, has been sitting outside and getting totally hydrated. Now we're going to do a mix and get a aloe vera gel. So this is what the carbopole now looks like. It's just been hydrated and it's it goes fabulously mixed and into this kind of a clear kind of a gel like it's not very gel like but it's so that's one cup of carbopole water and I've got the aloe juice that I have just got out of the fridge so I've got one cup of aloe juice Yeah, 
and quarter cup of the green tea, which is right here. So this has also been in the fridge overnight. A quarter cup of that. And what I like to do is I like to add uh, vitamin so E. With one cup of aloe, you take five capsules of the vitamin E and snip off the top and squeeze it in. That's five capsules of vitamin E that goes into this. This actually, the vitamin E actually, it extends the life of this aloe mix that we have made. So this is your aloe vera gel without the TEA. Now let me show you with the TEA what happens to it. So this is, I'm very happy using it because the carbopole is just a seaweed extract and then there's vitamin E and there is uh, green tea and then there is aloe juice which is just fabulous. Yeah? So this is what I am going to be using and I'm going to just show you how to make the gel form out of it. So I'm going to make the gel form for you. That's quarter cup of aloe juice, the same measurement, quarter cup of carbopole infused water. I've got just a wee bit of green tea. I've got all the ingredients that I have made for my homemade aloe gel. But I'm going to be adding the TEA and showing you what happens to this. So that's, I'm just going to take, we just need a few drops of this. This is the TEA I was talking to you about, but we need very little. So I've got half a spoon, which I'm going to be putting very, very little of it inside. And keep mixing while one, two, three, four drops and let's see what happens. Slowly turning into a gel. I've just added the whole bit. So it's getting thicker and thicker and very gel-like. And the more you mix it, the more it becomes like crystal clear. So you get a nice golden gel, aloe vera gel. So if you want your gel to be in this consistency, you have to add the TEA. Now, if you want to skip out, then leave the TEA out and just use your carbopole water, your tea, uh, the green tea water and your aloe vera gel. And that is, I think, much safer than this. Even though this product is, the TEA is in most of our gel like cosmetics, paste, everything. Anyway, so look at that. So this looks like a, a product that you, it's a very professional looking product, but probably that is not for me. This is more my kind of product. Very natural and very amazing. Please make it and enjoy.